Hey guys, I just watched Steve Jobs come on stage and present the new iPad 2. Yes, that was Steve Jobs. It's not a clone as some people are saying. So, the iPad 2 is going to feature some of the most amazing specifications, such as a dual core A5 chip, 9 times faster graphics, better games, faster games. It's gonna be amazing. It's going to have both a rear and a front facing camera, which is awesome since people can FaceTime, take pictures, play with pictures in Photo Booth. Yes, they put Photo Booth in the new iOS 4.3 for the iPad coming on March 11th. And yeah, it's, it's amazing. The iPad 2 is also going to have a gyroscope, which if you know from the iPhone, um, in a game like Nova, you can just spin around in your room and the image will move with you. What's even more amazing is that the iPad 2 will be 33% thinner than this, which is the previous generation iPad, well, now previous generation iPad, and a bit thinner than this. And this is the iPhone 4. Who would have imagined there could be a device thinner than this? It's gonna be lighter, 1.3 pounds. It's gonna come both in black and in white. White, specifically mentioned by Steve, coming from day one. Uh, it's gonna have a Wi-Fi version and a Wi-Fi plus 3G version. The Wi-Fi plus 3G version supporting both GSM companies and CDMA companies like Verizon. The battery will last for 10 hours on a charge with a 30 day standby time. Uh, the iPad is going to have the same prices. As for capacity, it's going to have a 16, 32 and 64 version. Um, shipment dates. March 11th for US, March 25th for a number of other countries. UK, Canada, France, Germany, Japan. Just a whole number of other countries. As for accessories, firstly, Steve Jobs kind of admitted they screwed up on the first iPad case they made simply because, well, it just wasn't meant to be. Um, now they made something called Smart Cover. It comes in a whole variety of colors, red, blue, yellow, green, whatever color everyone needs. And when you put the color on the iPad, sorry, I meant cover, on the iPad, uh, it goes to sleep, whereas when you take it off, it wakes up. Another accessory that they mentioned is a 30-pin to HDMI adapter. So you technically plug the adapter in the rear port of the iPad, and you have an HDMI connection out, and you can also charge the device, which is kind of cool since how could you watch a 1080p movie and not charge it? So that's pretty much it about the iPad. Now for iOS 4.3, they mentioned quite a few stuff. Uh, firstly, Safari is going to get a speed bump. Uh, then AirPlay is going to be able to show stuff in iTunes. People will be able to get a personal hotspot feature on the iPhone 4. Well, the iPhone 4 has had this feature on the Verizon iPhone, but the others, like me, didn't have that feature, so it's gonna be awesome. Um, iPad, the iPad iOS is gonna come with Photo Booth, which for those of you that are not Mac users, uh, Photo Booth is an application where you can just add effects and on the iPad you might be able to even play with them, such as pinch and zoom and it'll do all sorts of stuff. And then again it'll have FaceTime. Another two amazing applications are going to be iMovie and GarageBand, which will both come at $4.99 and people will be able to use them like they would on a normal computer, but more easily. So that's about it. 
don't forget to subscribe, leave your comments below, will you be buying it? What do you think? Uh, again, those of you that are Android users, such as those using the Motorola Zoom, are you going to switch to the iPad 2? If yes, why? If no, why not? So, I look forward to hearing your thoughts on the matter, and till next time, see you later!